Uh, here's an interesting comment from Max Allegri about the American midfielder. Uh, it's not that he's changed, he's grown, said Allegri. His experience at Leeds has matured him. He didn't have a good experience because they were relegated. He's back, still wanting to stay. We're halfway through the season, and he has uh, five more months where he wants to do even more. That's a good quote from Allegri, uh, but I particularly, Nikki, uh, like this from Tutosport, which I think is out of Turin, right? So I think it's kind of the hometown paper there. They're doing a mid-season review of Juventus. They said, uh, in the summer, he was on the market. Now he is immovable. Shout out to our friends at the USMNT only for the quick translation there. Uh, what do you think? What are the factors here that's led to this resurgence, this turnaround, whatever you want to call it, for Weston McKinney uh, at Juventus? Yeah, I guess I always want to say first, like, for your audience, because I don't know if people are going to be watching this and thinking, oh, she's blowing smoke. You know, these guys uh, are talking about U.S. players and they're making it sound better than it is. These are, if, if Mr. McKinney or Christian Pulisic wasn't doing it, I would I would be honest about it. But these are two players who are, who are performing really well right now. And McKinney, it's not to the same degree. You don't talk about McKinney, in my opinion, as one of the, the stars of that Juventus team in the way that Pulisic is becoming a star of the Milan team. But he is a starter on that Juventus team, and that Juventus team is challenging for the Serie A title. They are right on Inter's heels, two points behind, and have been uh, keeping up that pursuit really consistently. I think last time I came on, I talked to you about how West McKinney had to some extent almost blocked Tim Weir on the right-hand side of the formation. He'd been playing out at right wing back and playing very well, and it was making it hard to see how Weir was going to get those opportunities. Actually, since then, he has moved back into that mezzala position, the half wing in, in midfield, which is the one which, in the past, he said is the one he wanted to play more. And, and whether it's there or, or in, at the right wing back, both positions, he's been just very consistent. Uh, not special, not eye-catching, not always the player who you think, wow, that was the best guy on the pitch, but he's been absolutely solid. And I think what's changed, I actually had a, a sit down with Weston really recently for a magazine called Eight by Eight, really interesting conversation with him. And I think the number one thing that's changed to be totally frank is, is his attitude. And I think he would tell you that when he talked about the experiences he had in Leeds and um, the things that went wrong there. And of course, there were a lot of factors, including the fact that the coach who brought him in was gone within about a few weeks and and then they had four more coaches the rest of that season but when he talks about it he he owns it as well even despite those external factors he says look i i went there and perhaps i'd got to a point in my career where almost everything had come too easily he'd gone to germany he'd been a success he'd gone to events he got into the starting team he'd gone to the premier league and he just assumed that everything was going to keep working out for him and, and he was complacent and he wasn't working as hard as he should have done and that experience at leeds he has framed it for himself as a positive because it was the kick up the backside for want of a better way of putting it that he needed. He needed to go back out and work. He did this summer. I think he has talked elsewhere about coming in at his best weight in years for, for this summer. And he's showing it on the pitch because Weston McKinney is not Christian Pulisic in terms of the technical ability, in terms of that, again, eye-catching talent. For Weston McKinney to be the best player that he can be, he has to be grafting. He has to be working hard because that was always what defined him. He was the guy who was going to put himself everywhere. And he's doing it right now. And Max Allegri loves that because Allegri wants a team that... that works hard in the opposition that wants that one nil win hard in the opposition because that is how Juventus wins games and and he's he's fitting into that and being a soldier and being what Juventus need at the moment. Nikki I'm glad you brought up Leeds and I think that's a, a pivotal moment in his career because the fans at Leeds the relegation the coach you know being American the American players coming in he was part or labeled as one of those problems the fans would label him as overweight it, it's good to see him go into a situation where nothing was given to him because Seb if you remember correctly here in the States Juventus did a preseason tour who wasn't going to come it was Weston yeah. McKinney they left him out of the preseason tour in the end he ended up coming and then when he gets a chance with Allegri Max Allegri he ends up playing as a right wing back competing against Timothy Weah that didn't last for long because he's gotten 16 straight games since in the center midfield he's got 90 minutes in the last 10 games Locatelli Rabio he's a perfect complement to these players and for Allegri he's a utility knife he really has changed what has always been I guess that um that thing that fans labeled them displacent lazy at times He's logged in, he's in, he's ready. He does seem like a different player, but with the same attributes. Good two-way player and an ability to arrive late in the box and set pieces.
What about long term, Nikki? What do you think his long term future is at Juventus? Obviously, right now there's a role, but we know it wasn't that long ago that you know they had him you know ready to sell. So, do we think there's a, a, a long term space for him in that midfield? I feel like it, in so many clubs, in so many situations right now, it's hard to make really confident long term predictions. But I think Max Allegri likes him. I think Max Allegri frankly wasn't the one chasing him out the door to begin with um allegri yes of course he will talk as well about how the great teams have great individual players he's talked about how made these parallels of basketball about how in the end you want lebron with the ball at the end of the game when when the shot clock is running down and he wants that at juventus too but first and foremost he wants players who are going to buy into his kind of football who are going to sacrifice themselves and mckinney has has always done that for him it's why mckinney was starting games even before he went to leeds for the club, McKenney was was it a, uh, a piece that they could afford to, to lose. He was someone who was, uh, at that time, they felt something they could cash in on. And, and the reality is that Italian football, most clubs have to make those choices sometimes. They have to sometimes take the money from leagues like the Premier League and say, OK, that's a way for us to continue to maintain our balance sheet and make sure that we're always turning profits. And that may be the truth again in the future. McKenney is not good enough, even though he's a really good player, to be that indispensable piece, the one that you would absolutely not sell for any cost. So I can't tell you a, a forever a, a forever promise about where he's going to be or even where he's going to want to be. What I can say is, again, having spoken to him really recently, he's really, really focused and happy about what he's doing in Turin right now. He's enjoying being Juventus and he has, I think, quite a single-minded goal right now, which is to win the league there. When we talked mm. about that position issue, actually, I was saying in the past, you've always talked about preferring playing to field because you like not to be involved both ends of the pitch and here, there and everywhere. And he said, yeah, you know, when I was younger at Schalke, I perhaps felt like I'd made a mistake by being that joker who was willing to play here and play there because it meant I never got a role to call my own. But he said, honestly, right now, all I care about is being in the team and contributing because what I'm focusing on is that I want to win the league. And I think that that is in the short to medium term going to be his future is trying to do that with Juventus. We'll see whether or not they can do it. They have a great inter team ahead of them. Um, but I think that he's not getting ushered out the door anytime soon. Who knows in the summer, maybe someone comes in with an offer that Juventus feel like is, is too good to, to say no to, but right now he's locked in.